Hey, Mark Testa here, Chief Health and Wellness Consultant for Pine Pollen Superfoods. Today I want to talk a little bit about every other day fasting. Uh, it, there's a lot of different forms of intermittent fasting, a lot of confusion about the terminology. Um, comes up, what is every other day fasting? What is the 5-2 fast? And these are just different ways of fasting. So every other day just sa is what it sounds like. You fast 24 hours every other day. Now, I don't recommend this for long periods for a lot of people. Women in particular, it can put a lot of stress on. I know Jason Fung uh, uses a formula similar to this to help his patients reverse diabetes. He does like 36-hour fast, 12 hours uh, of eating. Um, so it's almost like an every other day fast. And I think, you know, if you're under medical supervision, you are... Um, uh, diabetic that's out of control but really if you are you need to do this under medical supervision because some of the drugs that diabetics use would prevent the body from going into ketosis efficiently and um, blood sugar levels could really plummet but if you're healthy and it's something that you think you can do you're used to fasting you could do every other day fasting for a week maybe um, I don't know that I'd go much longer or recommend it unless you're really a pro at this or you've got uh, you know, someone supporting you and maybe measuring and monitoring. Now, the 5-2 fast um, was done and researched and published, and this is basically two days a week you find uh, a day to fast, and, and uh, Kristen... Veriday, I believe, is the researcher who did the research on this, and it showed some benefit with weight loss and um, balancing out uh, other markers of health. And it it looks looks at basically uh, regular eating, and then the fasting days can be fully fasted or 500 calories or less. Um, I think that's a little bit harder because you've got to then start measuring your calorie intake. But if you fly below 500 calories, even with an every other day fast, your body still thinks to a large extent that it's fasting as long as you're not putting in refined carbohydrates and sugar and lots of protein. So um, every other day fasting, um, or, I'm sorry, 5-2 fasting is just another form of intermittent fasting. Personally, and, and when I work with people, I just think either a 24-hour fast once a week or a 36-hour fast or a 48-hour fast once a month is good with 16 to 18 hours of daily fasting. It's just a little easier. You don't have to measure stuff. Um, you don't have to have medical supervision. So again, different forms of intermittent fasting. Every other day sounds like just what it is. 5-2 fast is find two days a week to fast, and it could be calorie-restricted 500 uh, calories or a full-on fast. So I hope this helps shed some insight onto different types of fasting. You know, just make it easy. Make sure that it works. Be sure you can be consistent. Don't swing all over the place and do every other day, but on the days you eat, you binge because you're hungry or by the end of the week, you're really feeling weak and, and not healthy and stressing out your body, raising cortisol levels because you'll start to have diminishing returns. So it's important to do what's healthy, what's sustainable, what doesn't require a lot of extra effort, energy, or thought so that you can be consistent with it. All right, hope this helps. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel below. We'll keep giving good, helpful information like this, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.